Hello friends, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian with Dearborn Heights City Libraries, and this is an episode of Expressions. What is Expressions? It's an art program geared for teens and will meet in person once the library fully reopens and in-person programming resumes. In the meantime, we'll be sharing episodes via YouTube to help spark your creativity. Keeping it real. I'm a librarian, not an artist, and I do not pretend my art is even good, but it is something that I truly enjoy doing. With that said, no matter your skill level, we're here to be creative, make art, and most importantly, to have fun. Andy Warhol, a quirky and famous pop artist, once said, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide whether they love it or they hate it. While they're deciding, make even more art. In this episode of Expressions, I'll show you how to make roses from paper you have at home. Stay tuned at the end of this episode for some ideas on how you can use your paper blooms. The supply list is pretty simple to pull off this project. You'll need paper. Any kind will work, including pages from a damaged book, junk mail, construction paper, lined notebook paper, or even just plain white paper from your printer. You'll also need a pencil and a pair of scissors, some optional items, a marker if you want to add some color to the edges of your blooms, glue, toothpicks or wooden skewers if you're wanting to make a bouquet. Alright, step one. As you can see, I used a page from a damaged copy of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Grab your pencil and draw a thick swirl on your paper. It does not need to be symmetrical or the curves of the swirl drawn with the same thickness. Flowers are perfectly and beautifully imperfect, so just go with it. Step two, time to cut. Grab your scissors and cut along the lines of your swirl. Leave a partial circle or node in the center of your bloom for your coil to rest on. Truth be told, this isn't completely necessary. If you cut too much paper in the center, your flower will turn out just fine. Completely optional here, but if you wanted to add a splash of color to your bloom, grab a marker and color the top edge along your swirl. Step 3. Time to roll. Beginning with the tail end of your swirl, the outside coil, roll inward like you're following a path. Keep the coil tight. Now, if you pull too hard while rolling, your swirl may tear, but it is no big deal. In fact, it happened to me, and I fixed it by cutting a tiny piece of tape. When you get to the end of your coil, the center part of the swirl, you can fold the partial circle or node underneath your bloom. If you want to add a dab of glue to hold your bloom to the piece of paper, go for it. Just know I totally skipped the glue for my project. So what can you do with your paper roses? Here are some project ideas. You can make a bouquet, big or small, using wooden skewers or toothpicks. You can make a card and glue your blooms on the front of it. Or, another idea, instead of a bow on a wrapped gift, swap it for a paper flower. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this episode of Expressions. As always, we'd love to see what you made. Use the hashtag DHCLTeens or DHC Libraries on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Enjoyed what you saw here? Subscribe to the Dearborn Heights Library channel on YouTube and be notified when there's a new episode. Only interested in the arts and craft stuff? No worries, we got you covered. Check out the arts and crafts playlist. Before we wrap up, did you know that Dearborn Heights City Libraries are offering curbside pickup? You can request books, movies, music, and even video games via our website, dhcl.mishlibrary.org, or by calling the library with your library card handy. After you've been notified that your items are ready for pickup, grab a mask and head to the library. Give us a call from the parking lot and wear your mask during the delivery. It's that simple. Home delivery is also an option for Dearborn Heights residents. Last blur by promise. Did you know that with your library card, you have access to thousands of hours of streamable music and movies all via Hoopla and for free? It's easy. Download the free app from the Play or App Store on your device, find your library in the list, and log in with your library card and four-digit PIN. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Dearborn Heights City Libraries. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on Pinterest. Thanks for tuning in.